Hello and a very good day to you and thank you for opening this video message. I was hoping through this video message to introduce myself, to introduce my company and find out if there are any issues we can assist you with related to machinery failures, structural failures, extreme wear and tear in driveline components such as bearings, gear teeth, couplings, flexible couplings, etc. etc. My name is Pepijn Zoet and I founded my marine engineering consultancy company called PZ Dynamics back in 2012. We're based in Glasgow and we provide consultancy to ship and machinery system designers and ship operators like yourself in solving issues with failures of machinery components, machinery systems and structures, high wear rates in driveline components such as bearings, gear teeth, seals, flexible couplings, etc and high noise and vibration levels. We also provide vibration-based condition monitoring. So why contact us when you're experiencing any of the issues I just mentioned? Well, for any troubleshooting investigations, you need a party that's capable of performing the right measurements, whether it's vibration, noise, structural stresses, alternating stresses, peak stresses, driveline torsional vibrations, etc, etc. And I've personally always enjoyed very much being creative in measuring and this creativity is sometimes really essential in identifying those ground mechanisms behind the problems and finding a practical and fast solution. Now, it's not just the measuring capabilities, because I believe that our most powerful tool in solving your problems is the use of a combination of measurement capabilities and our ability to develop simulation models, which we use for our design support services. Now, these models are used to predict noise, vibration and dynamic stress levels and help naval architects and marine engineers achieve their noise, vibration and reliability criteria through their design. And these models have also proved to be really essential in finding answers to questions in a troubleshooting scenario that could not be found by measuring alone. These questions typically are have the ship structure in the machinery system been correctly designed for the task it needs to fulfill? A second question follows from the first question. If the design is fundamentally not right, what is the fundamentally right design solution? And then question number three, where modeling also plays a huge role, is um, the evaluation where the machinery components are performing as they should. Are they performing according to specification? Think about um, the torsional vibration damper inside the diesel engine. Think about uh, flexible couplings uh, and um, other driveline components. And then the fourth uh, uh, question where we also use models for is uh, the question whether a machinery driveline has been correctly aligned. So, what about vibration-based condition monitoring? Yes, we do provide vibration-based condition monitoring, but there's one thing I can't stress enough. If you're looking at increasing the reliability of your fleet, of your machinery systems, please first make sure that you eliminate the cause of accelerated wear in driveline components. Eliminate the cause for cracks appearing in your structures and also eliminate the cause of any machinery component failures occurring because vibration-based condition monitoring is not going to do that for you. I hope that this short uh, video presentation has inspired you to uh, contact me and organize a Zoom meeting and further discuss what is going on uh, in your organization and how we will be able to help. I hope to hear from you soon and uh, many thanks for watching this video presentation.